Hello, beautiful people. Coming to y'all a little later than I normally do, but it's Thursday. Towards the end of the week, I start winding down, and I'm not on the um, Facebook Live as much, and that's just it. So, um, I'm going to be a little awkward because I'm backwards again. I've got to get the hang of this being backwards thing because I really prefer using my computer as opposed to my phone. And I already have all the lighting and stuff on my walls. So I just want to use my computer. I don't want to use my phone. It's such a small little window. And so I have my mirror here beside me. <laughs> Actually, I have one on both sides. Um, just in case I can't get the hang of doing this shit backwards. I'm sorry. But in when you do lives on your phone, you're like facing right. Like this right here is actually the right side of my face. I'm putting my hand over the right side of my face. This is the left side. I'm ass backwards in the computer. <laughs> and it's hard to put on your makeup when you're backwards. So we're going to get ready. It's Thursday. So I like to go to the farmer's market that comes here to Kingwood on Thursdays. Everybody's local. Of course, it's the point of the farmer's market. But um, I just enjoy shopping from there. Everything is so fresh. You know where it comes from. You know, there wasn't no BS put in your food. And I don't know. I got used to, I really fell in love with it like two years ago. So anywhere I go, I just really love to just walk and see what everybody's doing. Homemade candles, homemade everything. So I love it. And today I'm picking out. What color? I, I use a different color foundation. Uh, my friend Myra, who I went to visit yesterday, she asked me, she's like, what color are you wearing today? I wear a different color all the time. It just depends on what mood I'm in, what color I want to be. And I have pretty neutral skin, so I can get away with it. Um, I use um, all limelight foundations and stuff like that, as y'all know. I'm going to be working out of the Jaclyn Hill palette today. And give Morphe a break with the my Color Burst palette that I'm obsessed with. And going to be um, combining Bretman Rock with a little Jaclyn. And I think that Jaclyn's palette is by far the packaging. This, this is genius. It's a color map. And I love it. Everyone else, you just kind of got to get You got to guess. And I don't like that. First and foremost, so I've already cleaned my face. So Modair update. Um, I started a new regimen yesterday, as y'all all know. But since I started taking some of the other liquids like a week ago and the ones that I started this week, my hair and everything, my nails are growing. I get them, I get the shellac done every two weeks usually. This is growing out so much. I'm so glad that I grow my own nails now. If I had acrylic nails, it would be a waste of time and money. I'd always be at the nail salon. My hair is growing. <sighs> my eyebrows are growing, which is great. But it's like my body, like I washed my hair yesterday, and I don't like to wash my hair every day. It's not good for your hair. And hey, Uncle Gilbert. And it's not good for your hair. So I like had to put a shitload of dry shampoo this a little while ago because my hair was super oily and my face felt oily. So I just cleaned my face, and I am going to be drinking, which way is the camera? Here we go. My Beauty Nectar today, and y'all already know this is part of the reason that my hair and nails and every my skin is going bonkers and, and in a good way because this has collagen, the hyaluronic acid. It's got 13 different um, superfood berries in it. And also zinc, aloe vera, and um, it's got protein in it. So I'm going to drink this bad boy. I just got another case in. I, need to, I feel like when I get one in, I need to order another one. And just in case you're wondering, yes, I did my morning routine this morning, as I always do. And next, my probiotic. Pixie stick. See, y'all can see what I'm putting in front of you with my phone. Y'all really can't read it. Everything looks blurry. So, I always take my probiotic in the afternoon. Why? I don't know. I try to split up everything throughout the day so that I'm not like 
taking everything in the morning or everything at night. So I just cut the top off. Again, no water needed for these probiotics. It's like a pixie stick. You just put it in your mouth. It tastes like um, melon flavored uh, sugar. And, but it, it doesn't have any sugar in it at all. And just like that, I've taken 5 billion cells. I think they call them bio cells. Yep. Uh, different strands as well. You can't really find that in another probiotic. I was a huge GNC junkie before I came to Modere. I went over there to get my hair done the other day. I passed by and the guy was like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. I said, and you're not going to. <laughs> I don't leave people hanging. I just tell you, if I, if I want your stuff, I'll let you know. If I don't, you're not going to hear from me. All right. So since I have cleaned my face, even though I only do the Modere ID, the whole system, see, that is so much clearer. I'm done. I'm using my computer for now on. I'm just going to have to learn to work on my face backwards. Um, I only do the whole system on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. You don't have to do any, you can do it every day if you want to. Um, but I do like to use the skin veil part of it every day, which is the defense mechanism that's in the box. Because especially if I'm going to be going to like today, I'm going to the farmer's market. Um, if I'm going to be walking around outside, it's Texas. People drive their damn diesel everywhere. And, you know, we are the oil and gas industry of the United States of America. Um, I don't like that shit getting in my face. So I just put that on. It's a layer of eco skin. If you think of it kind of like silicone or anything that you would wrap your face with to protect it, um, that is what the defense mechanism in here does. So I'm done with that and I'm ready to start my face. So we're getting ready, just playing around, having fun. I, it's just going to be me going to the market. It opens before the kids get out of school and that is amazing. I don't have to take them. Summer is almost here and I am dready. <laughs> Most people have calendars counting down to stuff that they're waiting for. Yeah, I have one counting down to... All right, it's time to plan vacation. <laughs> um, both of them got hormones going. They're driving me crazy. Crazy. The only time they don't bother me, right now I'm just putting on my pore professional. It is a pore minimizer. Makes your face feel like silk. It's amazing. It's also a really good primer. And I love it. Y'all, if my eyes are going wonky on this video, it's because I don't know where the hell to look. I'm just going to stare at the camera unless I'm doing something. And then I'm going to probably look over here. And I'm actually looking to the left, even though I'm to the right in the thing. It's, it's all backwards. So I'll have to practice doing it like before I go live next time so I can get used to working backwards because it's hard. It is hard. When I'm going like this, and I'm actually on my left eye, and I'm looking in the camera trying to do it, it's just weird. It's really, really weird. It's, no. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. Check out my pores. I really don't have any. Uh, even my rosacea is going away since I started the new products, which I love. I literally just exfoliated. Um, I used... This is an extra one. I have them everywhere. So this is our bamboo and amino acid, um, jojoba beads, all that good stuff, silk amino acids at that. Um, but the bamboo in it, you can really, really get a good scrub with it. And I have a little mint that I put on my hand that's a scrub brush. When I exfoliate my face, I like scrub it. And I exfoliate, hold on, make sure I do this the right way. Um, I exfoliate my face every single day. I know you're not supposed to, but... I love the way fresh skin looks. As y'all have seen with my um, patchology that my sister-in-law introduced me to, I love anything that makes my skin peel. I love it, except the sun. You don't want that. 
Um, so it's all of the new stuff that I'm doing. Um, I started the detox yesterday. Today is day two of the detox. I can tell you, you can take the detox and you can still go out, run errands, do your business. It's a gentle cleanse. Do you go to the restroom? Absolutely. That's the whole point of it. Um, but are you like living in there and like having to stack your favorite books and staying very close? No, I've been out and about and doing everything that I want. So like today, going to the farmer's market. So um, Activate is the name of our three-day cleanse. Um, it is green. It tastes like lemonade. And you just mix it with eight ounces of water, stir it. It is a little thick, so you do have to drink it really fast. Just chug it. Like I said, it tastes like lemonade. It has a little bit of a spicy aftertaste, but that's just the ingredients that are in there. Remember, everything is plant-based. So um, some really good, just off the top of my head, being a chef and stuff that my dad taught me as growing up, if you ever want to clean out your system, um, always go with like, that's why people in the Hollywood thing, they put cayenne in everything. And I believe that's what's in there. I don't believe I know. Um, and it gives it a little bit of a spice at the end, but it's not anything that you can't handle. It's nowhere near. It's not, it's not like eating a jalapeno or anything like that. All right. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. I'm using the Morphe eye primer. We are, oh, this is weird. We are going to start with the eyes because Jacqueline's eye palette has a little bit of fallout. And I hate whenever I do my foundation and concealer first. And then I have fallout all over and it looks like I have black eyes. I don't like that. If I just put my makeup on and don't think about what I'm doing and don't look into the camera, I shouldn't get all turned around. But we'll see. Because I can put my makeup on without looking in the mirror. All right. Contact's good. I love my having my gray eyes back. Should have been born with gray eyes. All right. So my face is prepared to take the beating, no, I'm just kidding. Um, real quick, I'm going to spray, y'all know I always put my hair products in first. I don't need my hair to be really out of control today. Even though I like it to be, the messier it is, the better. But, I don't need to be putting my arms up here either. Let that dry. I always um, like to put my hair products in before I start my makeup. That way, whenever my makeup is done, I pull my hair out. This is a thickening um, a thickening spray. Uh, I pull my hair out, and it's already marinated and did what it needed to do. Somebody asked me the other day, how do you know where to part your hair? I went to cosmetology school a long time ago when I was in high school. And... As the Deer Park High School page likes to remind me, my 20-year <laughs> reunion is coming up soon. I'm freaking old, man. I am getting old. Maddie posted something yesterday. 26 years ago, yesterday, freaking Fern Gully came out. This animated movie that my sister was, like, really obsessed with. Man, that, that made me feel old. I was 12 when that movie came out. Like, what? No way. I thought it was so much older. I also grew up fast, so when I was 12, I was like 18. When I was, hey Michelle, whenever I was 18, I was like 20, and whenever I was 20, I was like 30, and now I'm like almost 40, and I'm like 60. As you start getting older, it gets worse. And of course, being a cancer survivor, I'm very blessed. But go, putting your body, I know my hair looks whack right now. Uh, I'm very blessed, but it does, it does, it takes toll on your body. So I'm glad that I have Modair that is helping to fix all of that. I'm going to look over here real quick so I know what the hell I'm doing to my hair. And really, I'm just plumping it up. No Texas, we got to go big or go home, right? Right. All right. 
right, real quick. So y'all know I'm a huge fan of Redken. This is, turn it the right way. Y'all can see it. I don't even have to put it so close. Uh, it's called Mess Around. Anything with the word mess in it that has to do with my hair, please believe I'm going to buy that. And I love this stuff. It smells amazing, too. So people always ask, <laughs> oh, my God, what perfume and or cologne? I used to wear men's cologne for many, many years. My dad always smelled really, really good. And I just, I still have his stuff up here that he used to wear. I won't let nobody touch it. There's a lot, like a lot of stuff is in here still from when he lived in here. And I won't move it. I'm still not to that point where I like want to move his stuff. I don't know that I'll ever be ready to like move his stuff. He's just here. And I like it that way. And Draven the other day asked if he could use my dad's, um, not his axe, but his cologne that he wore. And I looked at that kid like, no, you cannot. You can go to the store and buy your own. Don't touch Popo stuff. I think at some point, here in the near future, since it's spring cleaning time, I will probably move some of the stuff into some totes and get around to putting it in the garage. But not today. Not today. We take it one day at a time. So I have all my products in my hair. I throw my hair back. And whenever I'm done, it'll, I need more pomade over here. It'll do what it's going to do. Hi, Michelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I am asked backwards in the computer. I'm, I'm using my Mac because I'm really tired of using my phone. It's just a really, really small screen. And I'm like all up in y'all's face whenever I'm trying to do something. And I don't like that. So... You can use your computers now. Uh, Facebook started allowing that a while a while back. They used to allow it with an app, but then you couldn't see any of your live people. You couldn't communicate with them, and it was just really boring because you were just talking to yourself, and then you had to spend two hours going back and answering questions and liking comments. Now they have it to where we can go live on our laptops, but you're backwards, whereas in the phone, my left is my left, and my right is my right, In the computer, I am totally backwards. Um, so doing your makeup is a little challenging. So if I look off to the side, it's because I'm looking in my mirror so I can move along faster, and I don't keep you here all damn day. All right, so I'm feeling like an angel today. I love going to the farmer's market. So I'm actually going to be doing a hollow eyeshadow look. Uh, I'm going to be playing around with some colors today, blues and purples, maybe a little hint of something shimmery, which I never do. <laughs> you will not catch anything shimmery on me unless I'm wearing my Urban Decay uh, clear uh, heavy metal eyeliner. I love that stuff. Love it. But you, I'm not wearing a blouse today, so we don't need to be glittery. That's not cute. All right, so I've cleaned my hands, so I'm not rubbing hair products on my face. Again, if you're doing your hair while you're doing your makeup, do your face first because your facial stuff can go in your hair. It's not going to do anything. It may give it a little bit of conditioning, but don't put your hair products on your face. That's not good. All right, we're ready. What are we starting with? We've got. So I've already done the professional, which is my pore primer, pore minimizing primer, and I've already did my lids, my eye primer. So I am going to start. Normally, I'm a foundation first girl, but because I'm using Jacqueline today, she has a little bit of fallout with her product, which is okay. Um, we need to, I don't want all that fallout making me look like I have a black eye. I don't like to go back and do a lot of cleanup, so we're going to do my eyes first. Oh, shit. Sorry, y'all. All right. I have my brushes here in front of my mirror. Yes, it takes a village to do your eyes, as some of you may already know. Hold on, I lost one, and that's my dome brush. I'm back. All right, so I have all my brushes. The primary brushes that I use, and I dropped it again, um, my big fluffy brush, 
This is my magic eraser. I use that for concealer to erase any kind of excess that I have on the sides. Always have my angled brush, my dome brush, my pencil brush. And today, normally I would use my little bitty small angled brush to put my eyeliner on with my eyeshadow. But today I'm using a gel liner from Morphe. So I'm going to be using this firm baby. So all of this just to do my eyes. Why does this thing keep falling? It's probably like, give me a break, chick. You're in here every day. All right. So getting my spray, my priming spray, that's what I use to, that's what I'm going to use today since I'm doing a very in-depth look to spray my brushes. I like them to be wet. All right. So if you have not seen the Jaclyn Hill palette, it's amazing. And it's sparkly just like her. She's adorable. So. Here's the palette. I'm going backwards again. All right, there we go. And I love the fact that she took the time to do this. So we have the map on the back. Am I going to be looking back there and telling you all the colors? No, I'll just put them in the details whenever I post. All right, so we're going to open this up. And I'm just going to dive right in. I'm going to put a backdrop. A transition color why do we wet our brushes <clears throat> we wet our brushes so that everything we don't waste product and if there is something with a lot of fallout like Jacqueline's palette you can gain control of it and it's easier to maneuver on your eyes so I am gonna go in with this kind of reddish looking color Yeah, I can't do that like that. I gotta go in here. I'll practice off camera uh, getting backwards down, but for the sake of time in our lives, let's just do it like this. All right. So now I'm going to go in with a little fluffier brush and soften that out just a little. We don't want any harsh lines. And I'm actually going to bring it up some closer to my orbital bone very, very lightly. We just want it to kind of ombre up. This is where I need to like go off camera and edit and come back. It wouldn't be very live at that point, but it would be more time efficient. At least YouTube, you get the edited version of my video. Am I even? No. I'm going to do this faster. Hold on one second. I might do it. Here it is. I might do it faster. There we go. And so I have little bitty eyelids. So I always do everything a little bit more dramatic and flared and I always blend it out and upward ombre ish um, so you can actually see the color even though it's a transition color I still like people to be able to see it if I'm gonna freaking work on my eyes I want y'all to be able to see it so all right moving on to the next color I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of, what am I going to wear today? So my shirt has a gazillion different colors in it. So I think I'm going to go in with blue. I'm just going to do it. I'll probably regret it afterwards, but 
Who cares? It's makeup. We're supposed to have fun with it, right? Let's do it. I don't know if I want to use this brush. Nope. I'm going to switch that up a little. So I'm going in with my angled brush. And you have to be careful with this one because her colors, they'd have fallout. But she still has really good pigmentation. All right. And I'm being super careful, y'all. There we go. I'm drag that up just a little bit above my crease. And I'm just making a V at this point. My eyelids are getting so much tighter using Modere. Oh my gosh. I don't have to pull them so much. That's awesome. Everything, it's like everything goes back into its place. It's kind of cool. Not kind of, it is, it's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna blend that out just a little. And even though it's such a vibrant color on the palette with my transition color, it looks really, really good. The cool thing about Jacqueline's palette is that all the colors, even though some of them are very, very vibrant, they all really go well together. You really cannot go wrong with mixing any of these colors. I could take the blue and the purple and the green and the reddish. It's like a burnt orange color. And then she's got like this mustard yellow color. I've actually done a look before where I used all of them and it was perfect. You can just throw them all on, blend them out, and they all go together. So there's no right or wrong way to apply. There's no right or wrong way to apply really anything. Um, it's all what you like. All right, so this eye is giving me more pizzazz than I would like. I'm actually gonna put this here so I can freaking see what the hell I'm doing. There we go. That's better. Okay. We'll clean up at the, at the end. So the next color I'm going to go in with is going to be purple. Purple, purple. Purple, purple. And I need this. Come on now. Give me. All right. So the blue actually came out looking purple on that color back there. Using the tip of my brush. That oh, doesn't. All right. And I want to drag it over to the blue. And I'm putting, I'm choosing to put the purple on the inside because it has a lot more shimmer. And I like the inside of my um, my eyes to have more shimmer. Didn't have to pull too much at all. All right, I'm going to add more of my transition color here. And remember, if your eyeshadow looks whack when you look at it right in the mirror, you're doing it right. You are doing it right. All right, so we're going to blend all this out. And if you can 
See, I'm tr purposely trying not to come here in the middle. Why is there someone knocking on my door at, what time is it, 1.32? I like packages. Or the Mormons. Oh, not during lives. We don't do that. The FedEx guy knows where to go. And the Mormons, God love them. They don't want me to tell them where to go. Yay. I'm super excited with this color. So this is going to be more color than y'all are used to seeing on me because I'm bland AF. But with the shirt that I'm wearing, and really when I was in Georgia and just really had some time to myself, I started playing around with a lot of different colors that were in my blouse. And I loved it, and it came out really, really good. And I was like, maybe this black and white chick can pull out some colors. And I did. So that's what I'm doing today, playing with some different colors, um, something you're not used to seeing on me. I'm not used to seeing on myself either, which is kind of weird, but it's fun. It's fun, it's fun, it's fun. All right. I'm actually going to take my magic eraser brush. And I am going to spray it. All right, we're going to come right up here. Brow bone. I have not done my eyebrows yet. Thank God. And if I did, I did a horrible job. Lighten this up on the end. That eye looks better than the other one. There's always one. Always one. All right, I like that. Okay, now I am going to put in this brush. Spray it. All right, I'm going in with this. I'm going to put some shimmer right in the middle. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This I should be able to do on camera. Right? All right. And I want to bring it up right to my crease. Oh, God. Make it even, please. <clears throat> so my goal for this weekend is to practice doing my makeup backwards. I'm going to do it. I can do this. I'm going to keep it in the middle and up to my crease. All right. All right, clean that off. So even when I open my eyes now, you can actually see the shimmery part in the middle. You can still see the color on both sides. And I'm fixing to go in with my dome brush and do a little more definition to the dome. Just so y'all can focus. Whenever I look at people, they'll be so focused on my eyes. They won't, they'll be like, you can have whatever you like. Um, I'm gonna go in with the purple. I really like the purple more than the blue. All right, I would love to look at y'all, but. There we go. Just darkened it just a little bit. Just a little bit. And my dome brush is a little bit more firm. There's some that are a little squishy. 
some that are a little firm. I like it a little bit more firm because usually I'm going in for not a hard line, but a defining line. And I want it to be the precise size, and I'm picking. So there's that. All right. So how am I feeling? I want to blend it a little, just a little around the shimmer. Yeah, this thing's squeaking. Whatever. All right. I'm going to put some more shimmer because I like it. Right from the waterline up. And it ombres up towards my crease. I just kind of lift my lid with it, as you see the hood, I just lift it and taper down. All right. And I'm just pressing it in the crease of my eye. All right. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I'm going to do my brows real quick because they're hot mess. This one is almost completely grown back. So, if you are watching this and you did not hear, I went to this new, that should have been the indication, new. I went to this new um, nail salon and waxing place and the lady was doing my eyebrows. Draven was distracting her, which I told him not to. Uh, but you know, Draven is my son and therefore he's crazy. And he was distracting her, and she just said, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh, shit. That's not the words you want to hear when somebody's messing with your eyebrows. So this eyebrow over here, okay. Over here, she took it all. <laughs> so I'm using brow gel, or brow drama. I'm sorry. It's still a gel, whatever. Um, I use that to wet it, and then I go in with the other side of my spoolie, my angled brush, and I'm going to go in there with a dark, dark color. I don't use black, even though my eyebrows are black, because uh, it makes you look really old. I don't want to, I'm already figured out how to age in reverse. I don't want to be looking old. So even though this looks black, it's really not. It's a very dark, dark brown. And I just kind of draw where my eye line, my eyebrows are supposed to be. And we fill in with nice fine strokes. Tiger, why didn't you get the door? My cat. He's in here staring out the window now. And the, they knocked on the door like 10 minutes ago. Lazy cat. Lazy cat. Even Patricia didn't bark. Patricia. That's my girl. Patricia. Patricia Kathleen. She's like, bitch, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Poor Patricia. That's all she wants to do is sleep. And at night, when we're trying to... Me and Cordy are... We're almost done with New Girl. And it's the final season. I think that's why we're taking so long. But Draven will be in the living room playing his game. He plays that damn Xbox. I don't even know who he's talking to out there in Cyber World, but he sure does cuss at them a lot. But as long as he's having fun, I'm okay with it. See, this side always comes out amazing because I have more hair to work with, and this side over here... It's what I call da dun da dun And trust me, that's not good. Whatever. Okay. So next, I'm going to take the Morphe Gel Blue Eyeliner. Because I'm crazy like that. 
and it's blue. That gets really blue. Blue. <laughs> if you had any questions about it, you don't anymore. It's blue. I'm going to take my pencil, not this one. Yeah. Uh, it's actually flat, super, super thin. And you just dip it in there. It's super creamy and super easy to put on. Whoa. Maybe if I paid attention to what I was doing. All right. I do have to pull my eye back for this. And I'm right up against the waterline. My lash line, sorry. All right. I love it. I love it. Why does the light on my computer change all by itself? All right. So that really brings my eyes to life. And on the bottom, I'm going to go in with some white liner to open my eyes up. Maybe if I can reach it. Clean it off. Your white liners, you always got to keep them cleaned off because it picks up so much color from whatever you were doing last. And this is super creamy and I love it. Look, I have fallout from the shimmer right there. Now, I don't leave it like this. I leave it on the inside and I'm going to put some dark, dark brown down here. Okay. So, again, I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed now, right? Um, we don't leave that like that. It serves a purpose. All right. So my pencil brush, I'm going to go on the bottom with a very dark brown. Same brown I used for my eyebrows. I can probably do this up here. Eyeshadow, not eyeliner. And I'm gonna go 75% of the way and back it up into the blue. Back it up, back it up. I'm so excited about putting makeup on. To go to the farmer's market. They've been having new vendors at this market. And like the kids, they come home and they're like, where did you get this stuff? They don't sell this at H-E-B. They don't sell this at Aldi. And you'll never catch me at a Walmart, so. The kids go to Walmart. I don't have anything against people who go to Walmart. I have everything against Walmart itself. And I'm a very green, slow farm farm to table um, chef so Walmart doesn't have anything for it to offer me somebody like me not at all they have Jack to offer me all right and I'm gonna take the shimmer that I put up top and then I'm gonna come underneath with it And whenever I go to do my concealer and foundation, we don't, we want to be careful when we come up to the eyes because we don't want to jack up whatever we've already done. Right? So I hate that I can't see myself in the screen because I'm looking at the camera. Hopefully I look even to y'all. I look even to myself. Right? 
throw on some mascara. And then I will do clean up around my face and go ahead and do the rest of my face. And this, when you do your eyes and you're messing with um, shadows that have fallout, do your eyes first, wipe everything clean, and then you can do your face really quick, and it takes so much less time, like huge time saver. Because normally, if you're foundation first, like most people are, and you have a lot of fallout under here, then you try to cover it with concealer, and if it's dark colors like what I was just using, then those colors get in your concealer, and then throughout the day, your stuff starts to wear, and then you kind of look like you have a black eye, and you're trying to cover it up with makeup. So if you're going to use um, eyeshadows that have a lot of fallout, just do your eyes first. That way, you can clean up everything with a makeup wipe. Or just brush it away like me. I just have a little bit of the shimmer from the eyeshadow. Just brush it away. Make sure your palette is clean before you take that wet sponge to it and put on your foundation. You can put on your concealer, your bronzer, your blush, your highlight, and you're done. You are done. So, if you're just tuning in, my goal for this weekend is to practice doing lives because I can, you can see the preview of it on your computer before you actually hit the live button. So, my goal is going to be to learn how to put my makeup on backwards so I can just look at y'all and not my mirror on the side. I can look at y'all now because, I, like I said, I can put my makeup on in the dark, blindfolded, whatever. My colors may not come out too good. Um, but, yeah, I don't need a mirror to put on my makeup. All right. Well, one last thing. Where is that? All right, so I'm going to clean off the brush that I used for my blue eyeliner, because I don't want blue under my eyes. And that's where I'm going, on the inside, going in my tear duct area. And we're gonna lighten that up a little. Get the blue off, get the blue off. All right, blue is off, sort of, yes, maybe. Yeah, we're good. All right, spray this bad boy down. I hate when it gets like sticky here, so I always just take it off. And I'm gonna go in with the same shimmer that's in the middle of my eye. What color is this? I can tell y'all what color it is. Obsessed. I use it a lot. Yes. I am obsessed. Jacqueline is so smart. Just a little. What do you want out of life? Oh, this is Myra. I love her. Oh, we're talking about dry shampoo. So she started using Modair as a customer. Don't get it twisted if you're a limelight person and go back and try to start some mess. Um, I don't tolerate that nonsense. But she, um, she's also taking a lot of vitamins and stuff because of the baby. But since I've already gone through menopause like 10 years ago. Yeah, this is my 10-year anniversary. De December of this year will be exactly 10 years. Um, I had to have all my organs removed. And um, she just had a baby, so... You're a, when you're pregnant, your baby takes like all your stuff. Like you can, that's why you eat a lot because you're literally eating for two and your baby sucks up every bit of nutrients, vitamins, and minerals your body needs. So when you're pregnant, your skin will fluctuate, all this other stuff. But 
um, now that I'm, I, I'm used to having to add conditioners to my hair and add this stuff to my hair because my hair used to be really dry. I dyed it all the time. My hair was more red than the wall behind me all the time. I loved it. And I'd already gone through menopause. So normal stuff, collagen, uh, biotin, keratin, all of these things that I could take, my body wasn't absorbing and I didn't know. Um, so now that I've been on the Modere products for so long, I washed my hair yesterday. Took a shower yesterday. Took a shower this morning, but I don't wash my hair every single day. It's bad. I don't like that. If I don't close this, I'll keep going. Um, turn off. So this morning I wake up and I feel like somebody threw like my grandma will call it manteca, like Crisco on my hair. I was like, why is my hair so freaking oily, like gross? So luckily. I have all different kinds of dry shampoos. I have the one that's the same color as my hair, and then I screw up and I mess with my hair, and then I go do my makeup and put brown all over my face. <laughs> so I try to stay away from Batista. We have the clean, not your mother's um, dry shampoo, but this is my favorite. Regis, I'm a huge Regis fan. Um, I love professional products. And hey, Jennifer. And it smells like I just came from the salon when I use this, and I use it quite often. Um, the other day, Cordelia kept running around me, and I was like, what are you wearing? What's that smell? It smells so good. It was the first time I'd ever opened up my Regis, and I was like, it's not her. She kind of needs to take a shower. She'd been playing outside. She smelled like outside. I was like, what the hell? Where's that smell coming from? It was my awesome hair. I was like, what? My hair smells fabulous. So, um, that was that. So, if you're just tuning in, I did my eyes first because I was using my Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. It has 35 amazing colors, and she made an index for us, which is super cool. Um, so, whenever you're dealing with eyeshadow that has a lot of fallout or eyeliner, I mean, mascara that has fallout, uh, especially if you use a fiber mascara that you got to like put the fibers and the shit goes all right here. It saves a lot of time if you just do your eyes first, then come back, throw your foundation, concealer, bronzer, whatever you're going to put on afterwards so that you don't try to conceal this and wipe it away. And then throughout the day, it looks like you're trying to cover up a black eye. So I am going to, I have a little bit of fallout from, my halo, the sparkle in the middle of the eye. So we just want to brush that away. And the reason I'm not looking at y'all on the camera is, I mean, on the, yeah, the camera. I'm on my computer, and in the computer, you're not like on your phone. In the computer, you're backwards. This is literally, in real life, my right side of my face. This is the left side of my face. But I'm asked backwards in the computer. And so this weekend, I will play with it so I can learn to put my makeup on, looking at y'all, being backwards. It's hard. It's probably really not that hard. I just, no, it probably is. Um, I try to look at y'all as much as possible, but I don't know how to work backwards. Like, I just don't. We don't walk backwards. There's a lot of stuff we don't do backwards for a reason. We move forward. Animals, don't walk backwards. All right. Where is... Y'all, I'm going to hire somebody, I promise. If y'all live in the Houston area, I don't really need to hire anybody, though. I really just need Paul to bring me bookcases. They're up the road at his sister's house. I don't know why he hasn't gone yet. Hey, Remy. All right, so um, I'm going to the farmer's market today. <laughs> it's literally like two blocks up the road. Um, but I wanted to try some different colors. So I decided to bring y'all along for the journey. See, I don't know where to look. Okay, to heck with that. I'm not going to keep y'all here all day because I'm turned around. 
And today, y'all know I use a different color foundation every day. Some uh, few people have actually started picking up on that. They're like, okay, you're using the foundation, but yesterday people noticed that I looked a lot lighter than I normally do. I used a very, very light, what now? HQ, I don't ever play the two o'clock game. I'm usually here with y'all. Um, this is the color I'm supposed to wear. It matches my skin tone perfectly, which makes, makes my skin look that much more flawless on top of my pores being closed now because of Modere and the stuff that I use on my face from Modere. It makes my limelight makeup look that much more professional and high def. And so because we did the eyes first, you want to be careful to just go around and down the middle of your eyes and your brows. And it's easy to do. I mean, when I was telling Cordelia what video I was going to do today, she was like, how are you going to do your eyes first? Well, so it's real simple. I'm going to set my face. Put my primer on, I'm gonna do my eyes, do my eyebrows, and then put my foundation and concealer on. And she said, why would you do it? It is a little different, but like I said, um, if you're wearing a lot of dark shadows like I am right now, and you wind up uh, trying to cover it up with concealer, and you don't actually get all of the fallout out of the way, you're gonna look later on in the day, especially if you're gonna be outside in Houston where, <laughs> It's humid and gross. Um, you're going to look like you got beat up and you're trying to cover it up before the day's over. All right. Remember, everything with Limelight is wax based. So you got to warm it up because I keep my house really cold. And we don't want to go up here where I have all of this color under my eye. I'm going to go right below it. And I'm going to drag it up right here. You can actually cut the line right there. Make that line and go right under what I've already done. And I'm going to let that sit there for a minute. And actually, I found that it comes out to about the same amount of time. It just depends on what kind of eye you're going for. Because I did the halo today, it takes a little bit longer. Even though I haven't put on my bronzer, I already know where to cut my face with the concealer. Not cut it for real, but like where I'm going to contour. So since I already have the concealer open, I'll just put it on where it needs to go. I don't have anything on my face, y'all. That is my cheek. It's crazy to look at. Like, really crazy. Drag this down a little bit more. And then we'll blend. There we go. All right, so now we're going to blend it with the opposite side of the sponge. And I'm going to spray it when I find my spray. All right. Ah, I needed to spray like, not so open. All right. All right, this part is not so bad in the computer. And I'm just patting. Patting, 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 patting. There, we're gonna go down. We're just packing it in. And because it's wax-based, it doesn't go in your pores. So you really just pat it and kind of push at the same time. It's just, you're just blending. It's really, really hard to describe Limelight's makeup to people. Because there's, unless you know what silky wax feels like, if that even makes sense to people, you won't understand what it feels like. You just have to feel it. It's so not waxy. 
<laughs> it's actually quite creamy. Uh, it's, there's no oil in it. And it's just this really silk product that just the foundation and the concealers are just super, super silky. They're super lightweight. Even if I was to go for two hours packing this stuff on my face, um, I wouldn't feel like I had anything on, and that's amazing. All right. No, Adobe, we don't want to update right now. I feel like no matter how many times you update Adobe, every day they got another update. They're like Apple. And so this is a contouring sponge, which is why I like to use it a lot, because it just cuts right there. And I just drag that down. It's got a perfect edge. So, well, now I'm turned around again. There we go. All right, we're gonna bring that down, connect it to our chin. And next, we're going to set all that with some pressed powder. I'm gonna start moving really fast because the farmer's market opens in an hour. Holy bejesus. And you always want to set your concealer with pressed powder so you don't have any creasing. Now, under my eye, it may crease a little bit because I did, I brought so much definition down there and highlighted it with actual shadows, and that's okay. And I just go lighter on the foundation part because I don't want to be Casper the Friendly Ghost, even though he's super cute. All right, what's going on on this side? Okay, so now I'm gonna add my bronzer and also my computer wants to die. I spend so many hours on my computer, on my phone, on both at the same time, it's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Brontour. It's a bronzer and contour um, palette. It matches me, which way? This way, perfectly. All right, using my angled brush. I always like to drag it up because I'm gonna come back down this way. Oh, my hair is done. I can feel it. And it's gonna be ready to go. see all the piercings so I used to have piercings on my eyebrow and they used to come all the way down to here I wonder if there's a way to like laserly remove that I cover it up with bronzer it's cool whatever but sometimes I kind of miss my little punk rock face all right so I'm just adding a little bronzer here around my forehead for some glow and then you'll know to bring it down here. Blend it. I like to bring it down even further. Uh, especially since the shirt I'm gonna be wearing today is very low cut. I will actually come around this way and down. Y'all can't see, but that's okay. Trust me. So that everything blends. Everything is cohesive. Everything is nice and contoured, and everything is all the same color. All right, next. Where's my poofy brush? Go in with this one. So pretty, so, so pretty. That's better. All right, I put it away. I'm gonna use this, take the sparkle off. 
I'm going to go in right here with the bronzer part. I'm going to do this here so I don't jack it up. All right. I do this to elongate my nose, which drives a lot of people crazy because they're like, oh, my God, people contour their nose to look like yours, and you're busy contouring it to look like theirs. I don't care. It's what I like. We don't have to like it. That's fine. All right. Why are you putting bronzer there? It makes your bottom look, lip appear to be bigger. Everybody wants bigger lips, right? You should. They look pretty. But not too big. Like, there's a such thing as too much. All right, we're going to use, since my eyes are sparkly, I'm going to use, um, yes, computer. I know. I'm going to go in with this pretty color. Well, crap, right there, the one in the middle, um, just to give me some sparkle. And I'm going to put it right over that second contouring color that I did. You're not going to see it too much here. But whenever I put on, what the hell is that? Oh, it's my hair. A little pink right there. It does have a pink tone, so you can see it. All right, and now it's time for Mrs. Bretman Rock. If you don't know who Bretman is, you probably don't watch a lot of YouTube, but Bretman is fabulous. I love him. And this is his highlight palette. I use a lot of Vacation, the one... Oh my God, I'm backwards. This one, but today I'm going to use Baby Girl, the pink one up here. And this is the nice little fan brush that came with it, which I love because I usually hate fan brushes. But his is thick. It's thick and it works. All right, I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose. Um, I go back and forth between Vacation and Baby Girl. So if I put this here, you'll be able to see it better. Bam. And I don't go crazy with highlight. I'm not trying to shine people away. That's not what we're doing here. It's so pretty. And I do mix the two and I come right up here just a little. As I say, I'm not trying to shine it. I'll shine people. Of course, on my chin. And mix the two and come right up here. All right, so now that I'm all glowy, I already have sparkle under my eyes, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I love it. Sorry, Britt. All right. And last but not least, I'm going to spray my setting spray. And then I'm going to put one more coat of highlight over because you don't ever want to. Um, you can put your highlight on after. This is pretty color. Do I want to go sugar plum? No. Um, 
you can put your highlighter on after you spray your um, setting spray, but it dims it. So I put it on, I spray my face. Where are, all, why do I have all these primers? Where's my, here we go. My 10 years younger. We let that dry. We go over one more time with the highlight and we're done. And then this chick can go get dressed, charge her damn computer so it'll stop talking crap to me. And, um, Go out to the farmer's market. I love it. Love it. And so whenever I put the spray, you can definitely tell where I put the highlight. And then I just go over it again. Bam. Look at that. Like, he did the damn thing. He really did. And look, you can see everything that's not wet anymore. It's dry. It's just, his highlighters are really, really, really good. If you don't have this palette and you like to shimmer and you wear a lot of highlight, order it. Order it. Bretman Rock. MorpheBrushes.com. All right, so I'm going to look in the mirror so I can take my hair out. All right, so I put all the volumizing stuff on it. All my pomade on the bottom of my hands. I mean, on the ends, so I could put it on the ends of my hair. All right, this side is a, a bit too Georgia for me. Let's tone it down some. All right. This is hard. And pull these babies down. Let this down. There we go. And I'm all done. So thank y'all so much for tuning in and doing this halo eye with me. And if you have any questions about any of the products I've used, um, what have I used today? So I did a little bit of my Modair routine, Modair skincare, definitely. Um, my limelight and my Morphe stuff or any of the palettes that I used. Oh, my God. Y'all got to venture out and find these palettes. They're amazing. And if you have any questions about any of them, I can tell you directly where to get them. And I can also give you my referral code so you receive $10 off your first purchase of all of the products I've listed above with the exception of Limelight, including Morphe. So that's awesome. Um, and that is it. I am not going to be coming back live today at all. Thursday is usually the day where I just kind of take time for myself. I will, however, be making a guest appearance on Holly Merchant. Uh, if you are friends with her, I'm going to be going live with her tonight at 7. I will be a guest and talking about some Modair products, why you need to take them, uh, taking any of your questions, medical concerns, uh, side effects, whatever you want. You bring your questions to me. I will be live with Holly Merchant on her page tonight at 7 o'clock. So I'm the Mystic Maven. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. I love you all. Thank you so, so much for all of your love and support. I can't even believe that this is my life at this point. So yeah, I couldn't have done it without y'all. I love you all. And I'm off to go buy some fruits and veggies. Mwah! Love you. Done and...